In this section, we're going to be solving systems by substitution. So let's look at an example of this. We're going to be solving a system of linear equations by substitution. We have the two equations, y equals 2x and y equals x plus 5. We want to use substitution so we can see that we see in the first equation y equals 2x. So we can use that value 2x and plug it in for y in the second equation. So because y equals 2x, the y in the second equation becomes 2x. So 2x equals x plus 5. We now want to isolate the variable x and solve for it. So we're going to subtract x on the right side of the equation, so we have to subtract x on the left. When we do that, we're left with x equals positive 5. Now that we know what x is, we can plug it back into the first equation. So y equals 2 times x, which would be 2 times 5. So y would now equal 10. Now that we know what x and y both equal, we have our ordered pair, which is 5, 10. And that is the solution of the system of equations. Now we're going to look at solving a system of equations using distributive property. Again, we have two equations, 4y minus 5x equals 9, and we have x minus 4y equals 11. We want to use substitution again to solve the first equation, so we have to isolate one of the variables in the second equation. Because x does not have a number next to it, it is going to be the easier variable to isolate. So we want to move y to the other side, so we're going to add 4y to both sides. When we add 4y to the left side, the 4y's cancel out, leaving us with x equals 11 plus 4y. Now that we know what x equals, we can plug that in for x in the first equation. So we have 4y minus 5 times x. x would be 11 plus 4y. Close parentheses equals 9. Now we can simplify the equation first by using distributive property. So we get 4y minus 5 times 11 and 5 times 4y, which gives us negative 20y and minus 55 equals 9. We can now simplify the equation a little bit. 4y minus 20y, combining like terms, is going to give us negative 16y minus 55 equals 9. Again, we want to isolate the variable, so we're going to add 55 to both sides. That would leave us with negative 16y equals 64. Now we want to isolate the y, so we have to divide both sides by negative 16. When we divide the left side by negative 16, that leaves us with 1y equals 64 divided by negative 16, which equals negative 4. So y equals negative 4. Now we have to solve for x, so we can take the y that we have just solved for and plug it back into the second equation. x equals 11 plus 4 times negative 4. Well, we can simplify this equation out a little bit. x equals 11 minus 16. So x would equal negative 5. Now that we have both our x and y values, we can create an ordered pair, negative 5, negative 4. And that's the solution to the system of equations.